Here's the thing, guys, about being a pitcher. The first thing that you need to be is an athlete, okay? And know that you're not gonna be pitching comfortable 100% of the time unless you're probably playing at the major league level. Hey, how's it going? Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Back for another segment, helping you amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge. Do all this by hitting the subscribe button. Tonight we're talking about how to combat obtuse mounds or aggressive mounds. And what do I mean by that? Mounds that are unfriendly for pitchers to get onto and pitch off of. So have you ever been on a mound and you have a nice, you know, cave or, you know, a nice ditch when you try to put your plant foot in the, in the rubber? Also, you know, when your landing step comes down and you're sinking into a, a hole, uh, that's another problem and so we're going to talk about how to cover some of these tonight let's go in and look at this mound here that we have in play you can see this is ate up this gets a lot of work we train probably a hundred athletes a week um, on these mounds they're getting a ton of wear and tear now this is just a visual presence of some of the stuff that we have to deal with but when we come up to the the, the rubber here one thing as a pitcher that I really hated was the the ditch okay when i kick because i like to pitch from the windup and when i don't have that ability because i'm falling forward or sinking into this hole it really really irritated me a lot so the first thing that i would do was to try to pack this in to be as level as possible so i would take as much dirt from around the mound as possible bring it in and start packing it in as tight as I could. If I could get it somewhat level where I felt like, you know, at least I could stay up and pitch, uh, then I would I would go from it like that. There's been some cases where, you know, I've sat into this from a stretch position uh, and I felt like I was pitching uphill like this and to get out of it. And that's extremely uncomfortable. Do your best to pack that in. Again, addressing the ditch in the front uh, from your plant leg, um, your front step. Again, try to backfill that in as best as possible. I've been involved of, uh, with mounds that, you know, it's dust, it's not dirt or clay or something, and you try to pack it in, and as soon as you land on it, you get this big dust explosion in the hole, it just goes back to it. So when you have that, I've got a couple of options for you. One is try to get off of the center wherever that hole is and you may have to pitch a little unconventional that day but if you can avoid the center of that hole uh, you hopefully will come out a little bit better another thing you can do is shorten your stride length up to not match the hole here's the thing guys about being a pitcher the first thing that you need to be is an athlete okay and know that you're not going to be pitching comfortable 100 percent of the time unless you're probably playing at the major league level when you're in the youth game and even high school game, you're gonna run into some really bad mounds, guys, and that being an athlete is first and foremost, and being able to combat these mentally and physically is gonna be extremely important to your game. Shorten up your stride length, try to uh, adjust left or right uh, to where your, your landing step is. Try to pack in as much dirt as possible. Uh, if, it, if you can't, then you're going to have to just find a comfortable position to throw off of that may have it. Even if you're just grabbing a corner of the uh, rubber and staying off to the side a little bit more, you know, it might hurt you on the inside pitches or something to that effect. But at the end of the day, if you want to compete, you want to be a competitor on the mound, you want your day of pitching, and that's what you're faced with, you're going to have to mentally prepare yourself that it's going to be a little adverse on the mound. Welcome the challenge. And, and, and go ahead and go about your duties for that day. And so mentally, you have to do a couple of things you can do if, if you're a younger pitcher, uh, this is for coaches as well. If you can kind of go out before the game and take an assessment of the mound and see what kind of position it's in and maybe get some field maintenance ahead of time would be helpful. Pitchers, if you go out to the mound and you're extremely uncomfortable, the first thing I would do is uh, ask the coach to come out and show them what the issues are. Chances are they probably can't do anything if you're doing a tournament ball or a travel ball because of it's out of their hands, but at least you've talked to somebody about it and tried to get them 
to address the issues at hand for you. So start by assessing early, trying to get it fixed beforehand. So know your environment as you go into your, uh, into your pitching uh, game before you hit the mound. And then that might help you as well. To really recap, guys, if you can't handle this adversity on the mound with the way it's positioned, um, you need to really raise your mental toughness there and some of your physical toughness. So anyways, that's, uh, that's my spiel on how to combat adverse uh, terrain on the mounds. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. For more exercises, tips, drills, exercises, I said exercises once already, but we'll say it again, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until I shoot the next video, we'll see you next time.